Temperature. What's the temperature now? Oh, it is rising. So I better shut down the engine. Radiator fan still working. It's cooling the coil. Now it's cooling. I think it has dropped lower than 90. All right. Then I better drive to the shop now and fix this problem. This simple block diagram explains how car cooling system works. Now, an engine requires an optimum temperature for the fuel to be burned more efficiently. Normally, it's at 78 degrees Celsius. It's controlled by the thermostat valve. The thermostat valve opens when the coolant temperature reaches the threshold temperature. Hot coolant from the engine then flows through the cooling coil and the radiator fans helps cooling it down even faster. Now, when should I change those parts mentioned earlier? Now, I've summarized them into following four symptoms. First, will be your car mileage is close to 180,000 km. Change your thermostat immediately because the rubber seal should be hardened by then. Second, engine temperature. When engine temperature is at 90 degrees Celsius, it's considered very high. Followed by third, the radiator cooling fan keep on running despite few times restart engine. It's also possible caused by the relay switches has malfunction. So you need to check as well. Now lastly will be to inspect the radiator top plastic cover. White patches normally appear first before hairline cracks can be seen on the plastic cover. At the same time you should also change the radiator cap when the radiator cap indicator has changed color from black to brown. And these are the four tips that a driver should know. Next, the practical part. The cheaper option is to remove the radiator by yourself and then send it to the radiator repair shop for the repair. Now be sure the engine is cold when dismantling the radiator by yourself, if you're doing it by yourself, right? There are many videos guides available out there on how to take apart the radiator. Now, do also drain the radiator coolant before sending it to the shop. The shop will normally ask if you want to use original parts or the OEM version, right? Now the original plastic cover is the one that is in a darker hue on the left as shown in this picture. Now the right hand side is the OEM version that comes with an additional nut and the color turns to be a little bit gray. Now the shop has the tools required to open the cover and replace rubber seal. So no point I go buy those proprietary tools to do this job once and then I will keep it aside. So it's not worth it to do it yourself to change the cover. So might as well send it to the shop to do it. Now meanwhile, you may remove the thermostat and flush the engine. Get a new thermostat. The rubber seal should have hardened after roughly 180,000 km mileage. The thermostat is fixed into position by a C clip or it's also called a bearing clip. Apply high temperature gasket maker onto the outer surface of the radiator outlet, not onto the hose. This is to prevent it leaks into the engine, those gasket leak into the engine, I mean. The radiator is fixed into position by two bracket at both ends. Then fill the radiator with one liter of raw coolant followed by water. Now how much raw coolant do you recommend? Let me know in the comment area down there. Open the bleeding valve to allow trapped air to be vent. Now based on this color, I think one liter bottle of coolant is insufficient. Maybe I will need to top up another one liter a month later. Now then, start the engine and allow the water coolant to circulate. Get a new radiator cap and allow the overflow outlet to vent any gas trap inside the engine. Do not install the overflow holes until no more liquid is flushed from the overflow outlet when the radiator fan is spinning fast. Alright, now this summarizes the radiator maintenance steps that I would like to keep a video record for future referencing. No one told me about radiator maintenance when I first learned to be a driver. I hope it benefits you. Now if this is the first time watching my video, kindly subscribe to my channel, press the bell button twice so that you get notified of my new video and I appreciate your thumbs up. Until then, see you in my next video.
拜。